I found another photo of me when I was in the cult and I thought I'd share this with you because it's with one of my favorite aunties, another member, a uh, family member that I was close to that I lost because I was excommunicated for being gay. Um, so let me share this with you. And the reason I want to show it to you is because my auntie is wearing a token in her hair. So we're at a dinner here and it's a less formal occasion. I think it was from memory a Saturday night and she would wear, you, women would be have to wear a, a token. Now I've explained before the women wear a head covering, a, a full on scarf to church for protection. Um, and you know, when they go out in public or less formal occasions, they wear a token. So whether that's a puffy headband or a clip, um, they sure kept Mimco in business back when I was in there. I don't know what it is today, um, what the trend is. But back in the day, like this is, I think, early te- um, 2000s, they used to wear gigantic flowers. And so I just thought I'd share this with you just so you can understand. So women would wear this for protection because they were the weaker sex. This is what men would tell them. Um, so they'd have to wear this so the angels can spot them out in public or under the roof of a house because it matters, you know. The angels obviously battle with seeing through roofs of houses, so you must wear a token. Um, it sounds batshit crazy when you say it out loud like that, but they are a very superstitious bunch. And essentially they would wear this so that the angels would see them and afford them extra protection. <sighs> Go figure, right? Um, where was all that protection when my cousin was being essayed? But, you know, we won't talk about that. Um, so, essentially, I just want to show you this. This is a less formal headpiece um, called a token that is essentially for her protection because she is the weaker sex. And here we have it. That gigantic flower on her head um, is what essentially protected her that night because, you know, we're at our uncle's house and God knows what could happen. Um, I think it, I know I'm, I'm mocking this and, and saying it in jest, but in doing so, I'm hoping to highlight how ridiculous this is. And if you're a member inside there listening, have a think about it. Like, ask questions about why you do things. Don't just willy nilly do it, blind faith as they call it. You do the doing, we'll do the thinking. Think for yourself. That doesn't make sense at all. If angels can see, or, or supernatural beings like they're supposed to be, a little flimsy crepe flower on your head ain't gonna do anything. What if there's somebody else? What if I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a hat? I'm protected? Come on.